Hey everyone and welcome to the last Smackdown before Money in the Bank and tonight we have again your hardcore champion Hardcore Holly coming out to issue his open challenge and who will accept it? Well, let's see. He already plowed through Kevin Owens. Pause. Let me let me re let me restate that. Go get him. Thanks. Thank you. He I have supporters now. At first, when Hardcore Holly stepped into this ring, he called everyone pushies. He's like, y'all a bunch of pansies, y'all a bunch of snowflakes, y'all a bunch of little kids eating your bootios. But now, okay, now they're booing because he reminded them of what he said. But they were starting to cheer. They're starting to get into that ruthless aggression, into the attitude era mindset. They're starting to like what they see with him. They're starting to like what a fighting champion looks like. And who is going to step out to fight Hardcore Holly? Who's it going to be this week? It's referee Reed Robinson. Did he not have enough last time? If you missed last part, Harker Holly kicked the shit out of referee Reed Robinson in the backstage. He power bombed him through a table onto layers of chairs and the concrete parking lot. And he wants more? I mean, Harker Holly mentioned this when he fought against Kevin Owens. He said... You know, he doesn't know how to feel. On one hand, he has to respect people that come out and fight him. On the other hand, why would you? Like, do you have no respect for yourself, for your own life? I guess we'll see how this match goes. I guess we'll see how it goes. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there someone else? Wait, it's it's not just referee Reed Robinson. Who else? Who else would want to fight? It's Kevin Owens. He wants to fight too? Is this going to be a triple threat match? Is this going to be a triple threat? Wait, what's that? The GM? Oh, that's me. No, this is going to be a one-on-two match. Since Harker Holly wants to injure our superstars and attack our staff, this is going to be a one-on-two match. Kevin Owens and referee Reed Robinson are going to be on a tag team in the corner. And the way this is going to work is, of course... Harker Holly is a fighting champion, so he will be defending the belt. And if either of these two pin him, they will become the new Harker champion. And if Harker Holly pins either of them, he retains the belt. So let's get into it. Harker Holly's warming up in the corner. There's Kevin Owens and referee. Oh, and uh, did I make you think that this was going to be a normal tag match? No, it's a tornado tag. Referee! <laughs> the referee's beating up his, his brother. What the hell? Um, what was that about? All right, <laughs> that's supposed to be, um... That's a bit of a botch. I'll, I'll pretend that was intended. Uh, that's supposed to be the SmackDown ref. I'm not sure why it's actually that model, but we'll ignore that, all right? <laughs> I'm already getting my butt kicked. Man, why did why did referee Reed Robinson immediately just start attacking himself? He must have some uh some personality issues. I think he might be schizophrenic. He's seeing he's seeing people that aren't there. Cause as far as I'm concerned, this is an unsanctioned match, so And the referee is just kicking the ass out of Harker Holly right now. Hold on, let me up. What's happening? No! Man, oh my god. Guys, it's not that serious. I'm stunned. I mean, they call him Stun Owen Stun for a reason, but I thought it was in reference to a stunner, not just actually stunning people. Oh no, oh no. Mike Pence is getting the shit beat out of him. I know I made that joke before, but you can't tell me Harker Holly does not look like they just took a, a face scan of Mike Pence. Guys. Listen, I'm not trying to, like, talk about, you know, behind the room, behind the scenes stats, but this referee is, like, 75 overall. <laughs> i just like to point that out. Fuck this. I don't get paid enough for this shit. I don't get paid. Oh, God, he dodged. There we go. Oh. Get down. Y'all gonna try to disrespect me? After I was just talking about how I kind of respected y'all for stepping up to the plate? Y'all gonna do me like this? I don't think so. Get down. What, you want back up? I said stay down. I said stay down. Oh! I'm already busted open. He's already at a five count. Owens is looking to keep going at it. 
Takedown. Oh, the referee wants jump. Come on, punk. Oh, no. Oh, no. A little back and forth. Oh, into the crotch. My man, the European uppercut. Oh, and now the, the, the arm stretching. Does she have a submission move? Is she starting to weaken my hands? Is that so I can't pick this fat ass up for the Alabama Slam? Are they actually using stats now? Or uh, strats, I mean. Oh, he dodges it into the shoulder block. No, get out of here. Oh, he went back in the ring. Here we go. Wait, what is it? One, two, three. Down. I was trying to go for the, the drop kick. One, two, three. Oh, that was, that was a super kick right there. Nope. Get out of here. I said, y'all need to get back in the ring. This might this might be a, a count out. They're they're tag teaming me now. Oh, that has to hurt. Face first onto the outside. Oh, Kevin, what are you doing? Oh no, oh no, oh no, he got me. The throwaway slam. Ouch. I am I am white and red all over. I do have my finisher and my uh, signature from doing nothing. Shall take it. Oh. Oh, just the the slap. These guys, you can tell that they've been they've been practicing for this. They want their revenge and they're frankly they're getting it. Kevin Owens had like a week to uh, recover from his absolute beatdown. The referee, I don't know how he recovered so quickly, but man, man oh man, did he recover. He he's unleashing a fury on me. His wife must have like left him for another man like after his wife saw him on live television getting his ass kicked she definitely left his ass for a black man and now the referee's taking his anger out on me listen it's not my fault your wife wanted that 12 inch long omo stick ain't my fault my man oh my god kevin Owens. Oh, guys fuck off hold on it's not that serious all i did was like brutally assault both of you and possibly, you know, attempt to end your careers, but it's not that deep. I swear to God, my man, stay the fuck down. Oh, oh, the signature. Get out of here. No, I went for the full notion slam. Oh, Kevin Owens isn't looking. He went back into the ring. Here we go. Just keep hitting him. Here we go. Alabama slam. All I need to do is just knock one of them out. Oh, come here, Kevin. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, get back up. Get back up. There we go. I kicked him. Don't, don't say that I'm not a fighter. All right, you can say I'm a defender. I'll take that. No, and the stunner. Oh no. Oh, I don't know if I can kick out of this. Kevin Owens just became the new hardcore champion. The stunner, the heel, the deal. Oh my god, I did not expect that to go that way. Wow. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? I feel like an outdated YouTube meme. Cause would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Wow. Referee and Kevin Owens, this, this might be the start of a beautiful friendship. Wow. They say amazing, but they only give me 55 points because I lost. I honestly, like, I did not expect the referee, Reed Robinson, to be that aggressive. Holy shit, he was, he was just unloading. Just strike after strike, left after right, haymaker after jab, uppercut after takedown. I couldn't do a damn thing. And then Kevin Owens showing him what a real wrestler is, doing throwaway slams. Doing face plans, stunning me, pulling a note out of Stone Cold Steve Austin's playbook. That's crazy. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just, I guess Hardcore Holly ain't no Chris Jericho, and I ain't kicking out of a stunner. But good shit to Kevin Owens. He's the hardcore champion. It's, it's going to be really interesting to see where this rivalry goes heading into Money in the Bank next week. Or the Sunday, actually. <laughs> It's in like a couple of days and I just had the takedown or the beatdown of my life But you know I personally as I GM I respect the rematch clause so you can guarantee 
in one way or another, in some shape or another, in some match stipulation or another, Parker Holly is getting his rematch at Money in the Bank against Kevin Owens. And will the referee be there? We'll see. Let's move on. And here he is, the Viper, the Legend Killer, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, his debut on SmackDown. And if you're wondering why he's here, well, as I said, this is his debut match. We're three weeks, four weeks actually, into our season, and Randy Orton hasn't been booked yet? He wasn't even booked in the number one contender and championship battle royale match? He's, he's nowhere in the booking, and he's pissed. And quite frankly, he's out here to challenge AJ Styles for his Money in the Bank ladder match spot. Because if you saw, as I mentioned, the Battle Royale for the first week of SmackDown, the winner, Dave Batista, became champion. The last one in the ring, or the last one eliminated, Apollo Crews, became number one contender. The other four people took SmackDown spots in the men's ladder match. And of those four, AJ Styles was the first participant eliminated. So Randy Orton, he thinks that AJ Styles, frankly, does not deserve that spot. That he doesn't have what it takes. And Orton is here to prove that he does have what it takes by taking AJ's spot and beating him tonight. Oh, but wait, who's the, it's Drew McIntyre. That's not AJ Styles. Why is Drew McIntyre coming out here with his rubber sword that can cut through ropes? I think he too shares Randy Orton's frustrations. Drew McIntyre, once upon a time, was handpicked by Vince McMahon to be the face of this company. And then he kind of got fired and left for like several years. But he came back looking like a Greek god, or should I say a Scottish god. Now... He, too, as I said, agrees with Randy Orton, and he wants that spot. So he's not going to just let Randy Orton take it. He's out here to make it a triple threat match. That is, of course, if AJ Styles himself agrees to it. Will AJ put his spot on the line? I guess we'll see. If not, maybe we'll just have Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre fight. That might be one hell of a match. Oh, but the phenomenal one is not afraid to back down from a fight. The phenomenal one is here to prove he does have what it takes. He feels like he got called out, and perhaps, lack of judgment, he might have fell for it. We see this happen all the time when people win Money in the Bank and have it taken from them because their ego made them put it on the line. And this might be a similar case here, except instead of putting the Money in the Bank on the line, he's putting his spot on the line. And... At the very least, this might be one hell of a match. This might be an insta-classic. Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, and AJ Styles in a triple threat match for a spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Let's get it started. And Randy immediately tries going after AJ. AJ with the flip and Drew just, just showboating. Drew's trying to play up the crowd. He's like, look at these fools. I'll let them wear each other out while I, while I just, uh harnessed my power like a Saiyan. Lend me your energy. Oh, AJ with a quick kick. Ooh, Drew McIntyre with a strong kick. You know, actually, I think I think I kind of like Drew McIntyre's idea. Randy, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go chill out over here with Byron Saxton, Michael Cole, you know, uh, Corey Graves over here. Let's just, let's just clear this table. We might need this later. Because, as I mentioned, you know, Harker Holly's strategy was to try to get up there. Oh, I was trying to knock him off the ropes, but this will work. The Viper looking for an opportunity, but AJ rolls out. The ring awareness on the Phenomenal one is outrageous. Now, I was just going to mention, when you're in these type of matches with the odds stacked against you, it's good to try to, like, eliminate one opponent. Harker Holly tried that strat earlier. It didn't work, but that's because they were in a team. Here, with a triple threat, it's a lot less likely that two of these guys are going to start ganging up on me. 
As you can see, Drew immediately starts going after AJ after knocking me down. Oh, and Randy! Oh, right into the ring post! AJ kind of shaved him there. Oh, kick to the kick to the nuts, maybe. Good thing Randy already has kids. Hope he doesn't want any more. But what's this? Oh, Drew throwing him in the ring. No, I can't. I don't want him to get pin access. Oh no! Gra grab his feet. Grab his feet. Let me tickle him. No, that's all right. I'll just I'll let Drew do all the work. I'll let Drew tire out AJ so then I can get the pin. Go ahead. Yeah, keep kicking him. That's okay. Oh, look at it. Is this, a, is this a no DQ match? I'm not sure if it is or not, actually. But hey, a little, you know. It's not a DQ if they just... <gasps> oh, I was, about, I was about to say, it's not a DQ if you just put it in the... That was an accident. Oh, no! On the, on the chair! Bro! Oh, drop him. Throw him out, throw him out, throw him out. No! I'm about to say, it's not a DQ if you just put the put the chair in the corner and then Iris whip him into it. But I just straight accidentally hit him right into it. <laughs> oh, no. I thought you were going to be in the corner way longer. That's all right. Pick up the chair again. Can I do what I was trying to do anyway? Or is you're not going to let me? Oh, I can wet you right here. All right. Oh! Oh, come here. Come here, Drew. Perfect timing, buddy. Oh! Go for the pin. That should be a concussion right there. One, two. Oh, AJ really doesn't want to lose his spot here. And I should mention, anyone that gets the pin on anyone gets the spot. You don't have to pin AJ. So AJ has to be really careful here. Oh, what's this? Is this, is this the... Oh, it's a inverted DDT. I thought that was about to be a, like a swinging neckbreaker. Oh, and Randy Orton stunned outside the ring. It looks like Drew's trying to lock in the Boston Crab. Oh, no, oh, no, Randy. I'm going to need you to get up, my man. AJ, don't tap. Don't tap, AJ, don't tap. G get in the ring. Get in the ring. Oh, AJ, for once, I'm glad you're good. Oh, no. This again? AJ, I know you got more moves in your arsenal than that. Like, I'm not saying you have to be a football fan, but really, upgrade your arsenal. <laughs> oh! Hey, hey, Drew. That was mine. I was fighting him. Oh, I didn't even realize I actually put him in the corner. There we go. Close line. Oh! I accidentally hit... <clears throat> I got distracted there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Give me give me the prompt. Where's my prompt, man? I'm trying to, I'm trying to kick out of it. I'm trying to reverse it. Oh, the the dropping knee. What you doing now? Oh, this is the phenomenal elbow. Oh, no. Oh, get dodged. Oh, kick him. Oh, into the punt kick. The punt kick. This used to be one of the deadliest, one of the deadliest finishers. And all of sports entertainment, that punt kick has, has injured people. It's gave them concussions. It's Let's put him on a, a hospital bed for weeks. I remember he did that to uh, John Cena's father, I believe. And I got two finishers now. Two finishers for my two opponents. As soon as, as soon as they stop taking turns, beating the fuck out of me. Oh, I wonder if you can reverse a phenomenal elbow into like a catching finisher. Oh, the RKO! We might not have to. One, two, no, he kicked out. But I was saying, I wonder if you can catch AJ midair and RKO him. That would be, that would be sweet. But I think we might take way more to put away, put away this brute of a man, Drew McIntyre. Oh, but Randy kind of fucked up there. I meant to throw him into the corner. I was trying to go for an avalanche RKO, but... AJ, I'm just trying to get a kendo stick. Oh, you suck. What? He just took my finisher? He RKO'd me? I just got RKO'd? Excuse me? I didn't... Why did it take my finisher when he RKO'd me? I didn't know AJ could... was a move thief. I told him to upgrade his arsenal, and he said, hey. 
You want me to try out new moves, motherfucker? Let me use yours. I can't even be mad now. Listen, motherfucker, come here. Give me this. Come here, AJ. Oh, oh, okay, just kick it out of the air. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, no. Oh, guys, guys, what the fuck? Guys, stop. Stop that serious, my man. Y'all have nothing in common. Look, Drew, we're both wearing underwear. Come on, we can be friends. Let's be friends. Okay. <laughs> oh, what, what? Why did, I, why did I stop? Did I run into, like, an invisible wall? Is there, like, a Jedi outside? Who's stopping me? Oh, no. There we go. Oh, I got both of them out here. Let's go. Let's go, Drew. No, Drew, what about we're underwear pals? I thought we were underwear buddies. Oh, in the ring. Uh huh, JK. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. Isn't this like the ab abdominal stretch or the accordion or something? Oh, wait, it was like an accordion slam, I guess. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. I just, I just want, I want a chair. Why do I keep missing? Oh, no. Oh, fuck that kid. That kid got smacked with the chair. It's just floating there now. Can I have this back? Guys, guys, this isn't a souvenir, all right? All right, all right, whatever. I'll get another one. That's fine. We'll just, we'll just, you know, let that kid have it, I guess. Ooh, a baseball bat. Oh, shit. I didn't even know you could, like, hit them with a weapon while they're on the, uh, on the rope like that. He just took two like a champ, man. Oh, his gut has to be hurting now. Oh, he kicked it. Break out of there. Oh, the slap. The slap.com. <laughs> Bro, I'm a victorious stand. What, what, what can I say? Can't I do like the little kicky thing? Where's the, let me do the kicking thing. Let me do the... All right, I'll just do another punt kick. I was trying to do the thing where he just like stomps on every part of their body. But that's good enough. Drew McIntyre, you want some? Get up. Can I RKO him on the bat? I'll pretend I do regardless. No! He reversed it! Oh, shit! Oh, they both have their finisher. I have to be worried. Oh, he, I think he went for it that time, actually. Yeah, I think he did go for a... Uh, whatever his thing is called. I forget. The, uh, the guillotine or... I forget what his, like, double drop kick thing is. Oh, the chop block, though. Get up. Ugh, I just want my bat, man. I want I want my bat. Oh! Oh! But how are you going to take a bat to the face and just be okay? Like, what is this shit? Here, get into the corner. God, is this corner just broken? There we go. Yeah, just, just rub your elbow in his face really aggressively. Yeah, I love that. Oh, shit. Kick to the face. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm getting double team. Oh, shit. They're, they're fucking Eiffel Towering me right now. This again? I swear, AJ's got like the same three moves. And there's the child block. Okay, make it four, I guess. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. That that shot block really did a number on me, I guess. Drew, I'm gonna need you to like get up. There's nothing I can do, man. I have an RKO locked and loaded, but that requires me to not be stunned. Is AJ like taunting me at this point? Every time I mention him doing the same move over and over again, he just does a move over and over again. Just working. Oh, there he goes! Look, look, look! It's gonna... Ah, ah! Oh, shit, that was way different, actually. That was like a brain buster. Nope! Yup, I guess. Oh! Hit him! Oh! I tr Man, I was trying to... I was trying to hit him! Come here! RKO him! What? Oh! AJ! Look, you're gonna get RKO'd. No, not the phenomenal blitz. Man. Look, look at Drew. Why is he finger wagging me? You're a bitch. Fuck all of you. I hate all of you, man. One of y'all is getting hit with a kendo stick. I swear. All right. All right. Maybe, maybe y'all aren't gonna get hit with the kendo stick. 
Please don't, please don't get stunned outside the ring. It's okay. Listen, what's this? Like an STO? All right. No, bro. I'm pretty sure I pressed it first, but that's okay. Is she really about to just throw me outside the ring? Oh no, he's about to face plant me. All right, that works. Can I get up? I am. Slowly. No! No! I wasn't able to like, I wasn't able to reverse it. The styles class. No! That was a terrible match. Holy shit, AJ. AJ with the dub. I just, they kept reversing my RKO. Okay. Okay, game, fuck you. Listen, they reversed it like four times. Like, uh, like immediately the game was like, nope, fuck you, Logan. You don't get an excuse. Like, I was trying to, look, AJ hit the RKO on me. <laughs> like, I was trying to, I was trying to make an excuse. Be like, oh, the game didn't let me hit an RKO. And immediately the game's like, uh -huh, you hit, you hit at least two. It don't matter if you went for like 10, you hit at least two. I guess AJ Styles did deserve it. And perhaps this is why Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton didn't get booked. That kid is going to cherish that chair in the face forever. Wow. I mean, I guess Randy Orton was the one that came out talking shit first, so it makes sense that AJ Styles should try to pin him. But that match was abysmal IMO. Like, I tried I tried being Randy Orton dude in Viper strats. Like, I tried running in there and, like, stealing pins or, like, running in there, getting a quick RKO, and they kept reversing it. Right? They just kept reversing it and then knocking me out. And then Drew McIntyre the whole time was just show bones to the crowd. He was just, he was like, he was wagging his finger at me. <laughs> Did y'all see that when he wagged his finger? That was some bullshit. That was some bullshit. But there you have it. AJ Styles, even though he was the first one eliminated, I think he proved tonight that he does belong in that Money in the Bank ladder match. And who knows? Maybe he'll be the one to win it all. And for your main event tonight, we have the second semifinal round of the men's tag team tournament. And we have the new New Age Outlaws. And what's that? They're being intercepted by Dominic and Rey Mysterio. Now, these are their opponents, but <laughs> what a, what a drop, <laughs> what a drop kick. Oh, I was going to say, this is supposed to be like the debut of the new New Age Outlaws with Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode paying homage to the Billy Gunn. I was about to say Heartbreak Kid Billy Gunn. No, the uh, Mr. Ash Billy Gunn and the Road Dog Jesse James. But Dominic and Rey Mysterio, <laughs> I guess they weren't, they wanted to, uh, oh no, I'm not, I'm not breaking out to Rey's stepchild. That ain't happening. I did. What? This is, um, this is awkward. <laughs> I don't know if I'm dyslexic, but I thought X was triangle. <laughs> oh, okay, we just got back up anyway. <laughs> Gosh, isn't Ray and Dominic meant to be, like, good guys? Why, why do they have to ruin our opening night like this? Robert, look, Robert Root, I'm gonna need you to help me out, my man. It was a little weird that you and Dominic were just celebrating over me and Ray <laughs> getting our ass kicked. Can we put this back in the ring? Oh, the fucking layout spine buster. All right. All right. That's fine. Okay, Dominic. Look, I know you're trying to get a push, but you know, you got to like work work out in the indies or you got to at least work out in the in the in the lower to mid card area. You can't immediately just start attacking people wanting the spotlight. That ain't happening. This isn't like an official match yet, is it? Oh my god. No. No. Oh. There we go. Drop him down. Drop him down. If this ain't an official match yet, I'm gonna make these guys pay. Come here, bitch. Come here. Man, I'll just go I'll just go beat up your dad. Think I give a shit. What? Can you explain the physics to me? Like I know I ain't like a physicist, but still. Alright, okay, everyone is just immune to chairs. Good thing this is a chairs match, I guess. Oh, and I guess you're just immune to a barricade. Okay. That's the worst stunner I've ever seen. You know, when you go for a stunner, you're supposed to, like, hold their head. Not, like, just hold my arm. Look, Dom. Can I call you Dom? I know, I know, like, you're not, like, the family kind of Dom. But, like... Die! Wait, what the fuck? Not again. Guys, why does this keep happening? I'm already dead! This is gonna end up in a no contest. Do y'all even want to go for the belts? Like, if y'all can't get us in the ring and pin us, 
y'all are just gonna get disqualified. I mean, I guess we will too, but again, what's the what's the reasoning? Is this like supposed to be y'all's heel's turn? How are you gonna block a running knee? Get down. Find enough of you, kid. Find it, come here. I'm not letting these guys ruin our shot. We're the new New Age Outlaws. We want the chance. Robert. I'm trying, I'm trying to, for one, I'm trying to monologue here. For two, I'm trying to, like, where's the chair? How are you dodging just, like, 200 pounds of muscle hitting you in the face? Alright, alright, you want to do fucking jumping jacks? Try doing jumping jacks when you got broken ribs. Get, there we go, finally it landed. God damn, my dude's been... My dude's been hanging out in high school fucking science classes. He heard a science teacher once say, you know, oh, if you, uh, if you push your hand into a wall over and over again, eventually the atoms in your hand will just go through the atoms in a wall. He fucking memorized that, and he learned the power of just avoiding chairs, I guess. I swear, all those other chair shots were just going right through him. How, how are you going to monkey flip me when your bag landed on a fucking chair? This is supposed to be a chairs match, by the way. That's kind of like the gimmick. Like, the first round with the Dudleys versus whoever the Dudleys fought. <laughs> the awesome ones. That was a tables match. This is meant to be a chairs match. And then the next match at Money in the Bank is going to be a ladder match for the Tag Team Championships. But as I mentioned, if we don't get this match officially started... There we go. Okay. Two of us are in a ring. That should be good enough. Usually, when this kind of stuff happens, there's, like, a little cutscene where it's like, oh, the bell is officially on their way. I guess that happened when Dominic and Robert Roode were, like, standing over top of us. But then it just immediately went back to where we were. So it's kind of weird. I guess they did that because, like, since it's, like, a no-DQ style of match anyway, it doesn't matter that we were outside the ring. So they just left us there instead of putting us back in the ring. I'm not sure. <laughs> it was weird. I didn't get to use the table last time so uh i'm gonna use it this time i like how they felt the need to like put all this back on the table stay down can i grab him there we go what's this isn't that my finisher like isn't that just the famisher like i'm pretty sure that was literally just my finisher <laughs> but all right here we go bro i'm surprised you didn't like counter this like this kid just has been training with the fucking ghost of Eddie Guerrero, like some Jedi ghost Obi-Wan Kenobi bullshit type training. But here we go. Is that gonna be an elbow? Elbow! From the ring! Through the table! Look, while they're distracted over there, I'm gonna pin your kid, Rey Mysterio. I'm gonna pin him. Actually, instead of that, can I, uh, what's my signature? Can I go for my signature? Oh, the sweet chin music. Here we go. Come on, get up. Let's go for it again. Sweet chin music. Oh, oh he dodged it. No. The snapmare into the running drop kick. Man, I put you through a table. And you just get up like that, huh? Is this going to be a frost mask? It was a frog splash. No, I'm not losing for the third time tonight. Oh, oh, I actually kicked out. Dolph Jiggler, you're cracked. Tell me it's not another frog splash. Oh, he dodged it. He countered it. No, but he dodged it again. I about to say, tell me a swing and neck breaker isn't his fucking signature. I don't know what his signature is. I would assume it'd be a 619. Get fucked. No. Oh. I'm still in this. You're not going to stop me, kid. I tried to go for the inch of gory. I failed. Let's just toss him into the ropes. Oh, I tried to go for my signature there and he countered it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, kid. Don't be going for springboards unless you're going to hit me. That's going to really fuck up your quads, my man. Oh, no. Not the hair, anything but the hair. You know how long it takes us to bleach this thing? I've had I've had platinum hair since before NSYNC, my guy. Okay, here we go. I don't think that's what I wanted to be. Oh! Oh, 619. I was trying to go for the famous sure. Oh, I caught him! I caught him! Get fucked! 
get up, kid. Get up. I'm gonna make you famous. Come on. No. 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 Fuck you. Kid. Kid, listen. Oh my god. Dominic. You're, you're a luchador through and through, aren't you? Ow. Get up. There we go. Hold on. Pot. Pot. What the hell? Oh, standing behind. Standing. I thought his finisher was the Famisher. Like, I thought. I thought Yik Yag was his signature. Or I thought, like. That's wild. Okay. I'm stupid. So. I thought. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> like, I thought this thing I did earlier. This. Because this was Billy Gunn's finisher, the Famisher. I thought that was still Dolph Ziggler's. But, yeah, I forgot about the zigzag. Which, I mean, I guess I shouldn't have, but... Let's go, let's go for the closest thing I can do to a frog splash. Elbow drop, boy! Come on, end this. End this! Oh, the double pin! The double pin! Count it, ref! One! Two! Three! Rope, rope break! What? Oh, Dom Dominic got the rope break. I'm like, how are you going to count to two and then rope break it? Nope. Nope, kid. Oh, I try to go for the sweet chin. Oh! Oh, the German suplex! That's more of a German uh, back to belly, I suppose. Hey, kid, guess what? Another zigzag. No, what the fuck? Get down. Get down, Ray. I need to get Ray Mysterio out of the ring. Robert, let's let's focus on uh let's focus on Dominic, alright? He he is just a kid after all. That works. That works. Hey Ray, hope you like seeing your kid lose. The new New Age Outlaws. They will be facing off against the Dudley Boys at Money in the Bank in a ladder match. Look at that. That saved me that saved me. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe I caught, I caught this. That has, I feel like genuinely, I'm not trying to hunt myself up. That's one of the hardest finishers to catch because it's like a split second when they're swinging the ropes. I countered that 619. I was, I don't know if y'all heard me. I almost broke my thumb. I was spamming this X button. I was trying so hard to kick out. I didn't want to lose three times in a row. Damn, look at that. They're road, I made that, that shirt by the way. <laughs> I worked hard on Robert Roode's outfit. Like, I had to, uh, I gave him basically Road Dog's outfit because Road Dog, Jesse James, can unlock him. And then I had to, like, cover up Jesse James's name and then put Roode's, like, uh, name over top of it. Because Robert Roode only has, like, two fucking icons or two designs in the whole game. I would have just used, like, well, John, his normal, uh, trunks, but I, I, could, I couldn't find that. So I made that. I also, I, I'm pretty sure I made the Billy Gunn one, too. I forget, actually. I think I did actually make, um, Dolph Ziggler's. I'm not sure. I forget. <laughs> I'll take credit for it, though. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. See you all next time. Peace out.